It's kind of like being on a racing track, but as a taxi driver. So we push the batteries incredibly hard, but then when we stop, we've got to get ready to take off again or to, to start as quickly as possible. I'm Dr. Christopher Linus. I look after the battery team here at Vertical. I always say a battery's pretty simple. It's a set of these cells connected together. It's some switches to connect it to the rest of the aircraft, the electrical units. And it's a fuel gauge. It's a battery monitoring unit that can check out how much fuel have you got left in the system. So really what you're trying to do is those cells connected together, you're trying to make sure that you've chosen the, the chemistry so that you can get all the power out as quickly as possible so that we can you know, support the aircraft when it comes into hover, which for us is really the, the high power moment for us. So we work through the, the whole gamut of the battery uh, process and development process. So we do the design, the conceptual design, and some of that involves you know, fundamental discovery of the, the science of how batteries behave. Um, and then we pull that, that design together uh, into, into something that, that uh, will power our aircraft. And the other part of that then is we've got to be able to build that design and, uh, and build it at the sort of rates that we need for the volumes that we're predicting. And that's one of the big challenges for us is not just getting the technology right, but getting the scalability of the battery right, doing it for the right cost, and also making sure it's very light. So really for us, it's that end-to-end -end process. It's bringing the whole thing in-house, going from initial concepting, design, uh, and then manufacture. Why do all of this in-house? What's the benefits of it? So there's lots of benefits. It's a huge amount of mass of the aircraft, so controlling that mass and making sure we have absolute design knowledge of what's going on with that mass gives us a lot of flexibility, adaptability and ability to optimise how we spend that mass uh, for the aircraft. It also means that we can really tweak the battery, optimise it for exactly what our aircraft needs and crucially make decisions about where we optimise the, the system to give the aircraft the best battery that we can. For us, the way we use our batteries and the sort of load case as we call them for the batteries, it's, it's kind of like being a, on a racing track but as a taxi driver. So we push the batteries incredibly hard, we want to store lots of energy, we want to drive far on this racetrack. But then when we stop, we've got to get ready to take off again or to, to start as quickly as possible. So for that, that's kind of the unique challenge for, for the batteries in, in eVTOLs is that not only do we have to store lots of energy and we have to discharge it very fast, but we also have to, once we're back on the ground, we have to be able to recharge, put the energy back in and get off going again. And that's pretty unique compared to where uh, batteries are used in, in other sectors like automotive. So as we've gone from the prototype aircraft and the prototype packs, we've moved from let's get technology that will make the aircraft work and let's get it out the door quickly to how do we optimise that for certification. So We've re reduced the mass significantly uh, for certification. So we've spent a bit of time optimizing uh, and really getting to know how the technology works, what can we optimize, how do we pull mass out of the, the overall battery system. We've also shrunk them down quite a bit uh, so that we can fit them in the aircraft. We can make sure there's lots of space for the passengers. The challenge that we're trying to meet in this phase is not only meet all the, the, the full regulation set, there's this big stack of regulations, but also do it for less mass and for less volume than we did in the prototype phase. One of the big challenges is, is taking this technology and concepts that have overlapped quite heavily in other areas, but bringing them to a point where we can be confident that they're safe, but also we can demonstrate absolutely that they're safe. And so what we do is working under the SE VTOL regulatory framework, we're, we're essentially showing that the batteries can survive a, uh, a, a various safety uh, testing to show not only fundamentally is it safe, but 
what happens if we uh, find a way to do testing above and beyond the, the safety margins that we'd normally fly with. So what we do is we build up a, a really layered approach. And so it starts with the smallest component. How do you know that that component is robust, that that component will, the likelihood of failure keeps your overall aircraft likelihood of failure below 10 to the minus nine. But what the regulations do actually is say, on top of that, they say, great, fantastic, that gets you to the table. But what you then have to do is take that technology and push it way out to the extremes and do a set of tests within the SEVTOL uh, framework, uh, which we call thermal runaway testing, which is about triggering the battery into failure. So you've, you've already proved that it's robust, that it's safe. These tests push the battery outside of those margins and say, OK, you've got to purposely set, uh, trigger this, this battery into thermal runaway. And when you do that, you've got to make sure that you can contain the, safely contain the effects of that failure. So really for us, it's about making sure at, at each level that we're blocking the effects uh, and that we've got a layer upon layer of safety systems uh, that, that mean not only do we keep the chance of something going wrong uh, incredibly low, but that we make sure that even if something does go wrong, that we've got blocking barriers to, to stop that uh, causing any sort of safety effect. On a personal level, I want to make sure that the technology is, is absolutely safe. I'm going to be flying around on these things. We have to make sure it's safe, but we've got to make sure that it's clear and visible that, it's, uh, that our systems are safe. I've worked in in other places where you're quite separate from the thing you're, you're developing, from the product, or you're separated by years, by, by your, you're a cog in the process. Here, you know, building the batteries in, in a relatively short amount of time and then getting on the aircraft and then getting the pilots in the aircraft and, and flying. It's a fantastic feeling to see this technology that we've put in the aircraft and uh, is out flying at the moment. Thank you.